Welcome back. Well, homeownership offers a sense of security and accomplishment and overall becoming a great investment. But these days, it's getting more expensive to buy a home. We all know that. Mortgage rates climbed further about seven above 7% and are now at their highest points in more than 20 years. The goal of home ownership may seem unattainable, but there are ways to make it a reality despite challenges. Joining us now, Luis Rodriguez, Northwestern Mutual Financial Advisor. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for having me today. There are so many moving parts to all of this, and it seems like it's really complicated, but just give us an overview of what we're experiencing right now in the local housing market. I think right now that what's happening is a lot of uncertainty. Yeah. It's a lot of people don't know what's going to happen in the market in the next year or so. People look at an interest rate at one point. People look at a housing price and going up. And the good thing about Florida is that people want to move here mm -hmm. because of tax advantage and things like that. But what it is is never time the market. I think the whole goal is make sure that you have a plan. Create your own plan in a long-term perspective because at the end of the day, if you plan in the next two years or so, that will be the best thing that you can do for your family. And this could be a very intimidating thing, especially for those first-time home buyers. What's some advice on how to save for a down payment? Very good. That's a very good question. A lot of people talk about the 20%. Yeah. That 20% is what our parents probably talk to mm -hmm. us to make sure the lower payment is better for you and things like that. But what I would say is meet people where they're at. Mm. That's the most important thing. And if it's 5%, 10% or 20%, you got to make sure that you have, a, have enough cash and cash you serve because after you have the house, you have more expensive. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, is you don't have to have 20%. Make sure that you create a financial plan for you and your family. And it's 5% is what it is today. Mm -hmm. And guess what? If interest rate come down, you can refi, lower mm -hmm. the interest rate, mm -hmm. and get even some cash out of your house. Refi, yep. Definitely. Advice, yeah, man. I think my realtor, when I first started talking about buying a house, he was like, no, you date the rate and buy the house. Now is the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. That's, a, that's what a lot of people are saying. You got to buy rates and things like that. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, is what the financial status or spectrum of that family. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, are we in a buyer's market right now or a seller's market? That's a very good question. And it goes back to what are the comment that I just met. Meet people where they're at. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it's a buyer's market or a seller's market. It, are you ready to buy a house? And when is going to be a good time for you to buy a house? But at the end of the day, it's going back to build a financial plan for you and your family in the long term. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we talk a lot about we're in an affordable housing crisis. There's not a lot of inventory out there. We have a, an entire segment dedicated to our booming population. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on new construction versus existing inventory as far as giving more options? That's a very good question. So we're in a very good situation, as I mentioned. People from the Midwest, West mm -hmm. Coast want to come here. Why and wouldn't I mean, they? I know, right? <laughs> when you're thinking of all the taxes that you pay in California, right. why not leave it? And, in the society that we live in today, that you can actually work in California and live here, right, mm -hmm. with the Zoom environment mm -hmm. and all That's that. Right. So to answer the question is, is going back to timing. Mm -hmm. If it's building a new house for you, right, in the next year or so, it's the best way for you, let's do that. But if you actually need to move now, but what I would consider for you is think about the long-term perspective and in the way of, hey, maybe the first house that you're going to buy is not the future house that you're going to have mm -hmm. in the next three to five years. Maybe that's going to be the first investment property you're going to create. Mm -hmm. Remember, start guaranteeing an income for your future yeah. and your retirement. And what's your best advice right now for folks who may want to become a homeowner right now? I would say create a plan in a year or two perspective, right? That's the first thing you do. Meet up with a financial advisor. Mm -hmm. Why the financial professional would allow you to create a strategy for you and your family for the long-term perspective. And either it's a five... 10 or 20%, it's all about what is it that is important for you and your family. And, you know, I find when talking about money, you know, it's an emotional topic when you're talking about your own money and people get very emotionally attached to different things within their budget. Is that part of the advantage of working with a professional is that you're not emotionally attached to my money per se? You know, that's a very good question. <laughs> and that's a question that they ask me. Louis, do you have a financial advisor? Because I have the license and yeah. the location that you have. I do. I actually have two financial advisors. And the reason why is you said it. I am very emotional with my mm -hmm. money, mm. but I'm not emotional with our client's money. Two different things. You've got to disconnect what it is, emotions and logic. But then at the end of the day, my job and our job as a financial professional is connecting those two because at the end of the day, it's about what is the client wants. Right? And so. a lot of people, I think, might think, oh, a financial professional isn't for me because I don't have billions of dollars. I mean, this is something that's smart for everyone, no matter your income or yeah. your assets, right? I agree. I agree. And it doesn't matter. And one of the good advice, even at clients, I mean, you learn from clients. This is great, right? That's the beautiful <laughs> thing about the, what we do is one of the good advisors, one of the good advice is, hey, when you meet with a financial professional, don't thinking about the now, thinking mm -hmm. about the legacy that you're leaving behind. Mm-hmm. 
right? So you don't have to be a millionaire. But guess what? For you to become a millionaire, you got to start from one. From one. Real quick, folks who want to contact you, what's your information? Definitely. I mean, Northwestern Mutual is probably one of the oldest financial firms in the country. We have plus 166 years. So just go to northwesternmutual.com. Uh, just look for an advisor that you feel the best fit, but we actually have office all over the United States, and we actually here in Orlando, downtown, and Lake Nona as well. Love so it. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you both for having me today, and have a great day. Yes, you too.